Hi everyone, I am so excited today to share with you a fast breakfast idea. You have gotta make it overnight. It's called overnight oats. So as always, before we start in the kitchen, we're gonna wash our hands. You're gonna come on over here, take some soap, some warm water, and I'm gonna scrub the top of my hands, in between my hands, my fingernails, and everything for about 20 seconds. So to make overnight oats, it's super easy. You're gonna just love it. All you need are some old-fashioned oats, some chia seeds, and you don't have to use the chia seeds, but it makes it a little bit thicker, and I think the texture better as well, and some kind of milk. And if you can't have regular milk, soy milk is fine, or almond milk, or anything that you guys can tolerate. So that's gonna be the base of the recipe, and then we're gonna also add some different toppings on, which I'll show you as well. So with the oats and the chia seeds, and also all this fruit, it's such a great source of fiber. Do you know what fiber is? Well, I'll tell you, fiber is a nutrient that's found in foods that really help our digestive system. So not to get too embarrassed here, but it helps us so we don't spend so much time in the bathroom. And then we have milk, which is a great source of calcium for you and also really good for those growing bones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you two important things in the kitchen too. It's called measuring. Measuring is one of those things that sometimes you're asked for a liquid measuring cup and sometimes you're asked for a dry measuring cup and recipes don't always state it, but the good way to remember it is this, that if I'm gonna pour a liquid in, I'm gonna use a liquid measuring cup. And why? Because it has a spout. And also, unlike this flat cup measuring cup, if I fill this to the brim and I have to walk across my kitchen, it's gonna all spill. But if I fill a cup here, there's plenty of room that I'm not gonna walk around and have it spill. So, to start, we are gonna do for our overnight oats, get some sort of a bowl, or you can get a glass, or whatever you want. You're gonna fill your overnight oat, the first thing with just, yes, raw oats, we're not cooking them, it's unbelievable. It's super fast. You're gonna fill it up to the top, and I always do with dry measures. This is mostly with flour, but here you just take the back or the end of the spoon or knife, and you measure it, and so it goes all the way across. You pour it in, I'll just do one in here, and then I'm gonna take my liquid measure cup, and I'm gonna pour a half of a cup of milk. Super easy, just pour it into the oats. You could just take it from here, put the lid on, and just call it quits and put it in the fridge until the next morning, or you can add some chia seeds. And I usually add about a teaspoon because it, it's um, super healthy, but it's also something that helps thicken up the, the mixture. And I'll just stir this together. Okay, it's been, overnight and I took my oats out of the refrigerator. And this is where your creativity kicks in. You can add any topping you have in the pantry, in the refrigerator or the freezer. Whatever you have, add it to your delight. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about a quarter cup of yogurt. I'm using again, this Greek plain yogurt because I like that. You can make an overnight oat, sort of like a peanut butter and jelly with, um, I added peanut butter, I added some peanuts and some cut up strawberries. You can also make overnight oats like this one that has blueberries, yogurt, and raspberries. I don't have one here, but sometimes what I do is I take an apple, I'll chop an apple up, I'll sprinkle a little cinnamon, maybe some walnuts and some yogurt and use that with the overnight oats, just in case you don't have any fresh fruit. I'm gonna show you how to make overnight oats using canned peaches. So this is something that's pretty easy. You can get it in the winter, in the summer, fall, and it's always packed with juice. You have to take the top off, so be careful so you don't cut yourself. And you can really, if you want, just add whole fresh peaches right to the overnight oats. Then I'll add some chopped almonds. I like a little bit of sugar because I eat plain yogurt and I will sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar on top just for a touch of sweetness. Let me go ahead and taste these overnight oats. They look so good. Mm. 
Mmm. I love these so fast. You can make them a few days in advance, grab them as a snack, take them out on your way somewhere if you need to eat breakfast fast. They're just so delicious. I hope you enjoyed today and I'll see you next time.